Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amulon Shaktivel and this is part 10 of the Playlight series. Um, hopefully the last one before we head on to create uh, a beautiful framework. Right, so we want to understand test configurations. Um, what are the different test configurations that we can set in Playwright? And uh, Playwright has developed a really cool features and uh, it's all about how we could uh, tap them, right? So there are different levels at which you can test, uh, set these configurations. You can set them at the global level. You can set them at the project level. You can also set them at the test level. We're going to dive deep into all of them, right? So let's not waste any more time and head to the IntelliJ. Again, guys, so if you notice, there is a playwright.config.ts file in the root folder, uh, which is responsible for all these config things. Um, so you, if, let's say uh, you, the, most of these things already comes with the command. Uh, so, and are, are most often more than enough to understand by themselves with the name. For example, the test directory indicates where our, our test files are located, um, fully parallel. And so we also have a comment here that says that whether you want to run all your tests in parallel, um, the far b dot only it let's say uh, this by default will fail the build on CA. Let's say you are running playwright test on PR to main. Uh, if you accidentally left uh, test dot only because you are doing some testing and all that, it will fail your build because uh, you know you want to have this always uh, like this. Uh, let's say if you have 50 tests running as part of your PR, um, if you have set up test dot only, and then if you don't set this, what happens is your your PR might be ran just one test and your workflow might be passing and you might allow your uh, PR to get merged into main, which is something we don't want to do. So that's why uh, we want to have always this default value. Um, again, you can control. The, the good thing about uh, Playwright config is, um, you know, you can control, you can write code here, right? You can write ternary operators here. Uh, I think when I come from Java to, to the, to the, uh, TypeScript background. I think this is one of the cool features that I feel um, uh, in TypeScript that that you can have config files uh, in terms of TypeScript, uh, and then you could write your conditions here. Let's say if the uh, if you're running it in CI, you want to retry your uh, failures. Uh, if you're running it in your local, no, I do want to retry them because you want to see what is a failure and then fix it, right? So that's why you have it. You, you can control them. But in case of Java, what we did is we have we'll have a separate uh, uh, configuration files, property files, and then we write a code in separate class files. So uh, there are a couple of works, but then here it is just one. So I, again, you can configure number of tests that you want to run in parallel. You can you can choose here in your local. It's undefined, so which means it will run many tests. You can also control them. Um, again, uh, what kind of reporters you want to achieve? Like in my opinion, the HTML reporter is more than enough. So I will keep like this. But then you can always go ahead and explore what you want. Uh, let's say you want to upload your test to so test trial, uh, test report to test trial, and all that. You can generate a JUnit report and then because JUnit report might be accepted in most of the test management tools, um, be it Azure or test trial or, um, you know, Zephyr and stuff like that. So you, you can you can configure based on your needs, but then my need, I will only need HTML reports. And here comes the uh, part where you can set the uh, configurations. Uh, for example, whether you want to have the trace viewer, uh, when do you want to have it? So you want to have it all the time, you want to switch it off, um, whether you want to have it only on the first retries or uh, you want to do it on all the retries. It depends on what you want to. Only you want, when there is a failure, you want to only have traces so that you can debug it. So people normally use this, but I'm not a big fan of keeping this. I want to have it all the time so that, you know, uh, it's it doesn't gonna cost you a lot much. So I'll keep it on all the time. And then video is something that you can decide to keep only on failures so that, uh, so so when there is a failure, you could, you know, you could uh, see the video and see what's happening because it might consume some uh, 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 storage, right? So so that's why you can keep like this. Yeah, it, it depends upon you. Or, or you could also add conditions like, you know, process.env, uh, CI is true, uh, then, uh, you know, it, it written on failure. In local, you want to switch it off. You can you can do all of these things based upon your needs. 
Um, and then there are also a lot more options here. So you can say, um, you know, you want to run this particular test from a particular location. Let's say you are testing apps like Uber, uh, you know, Swiggy or something like that. You want to simulate location and in it, we actually tried it in our project and then it worked charm, like a charm. Like we didn't face any sort of issues uh, with your location. So you can also set a uh, time zone as well. Um, right. So you can also do a lot more things like, um, you know, you can go ahead and see all these things. Right. So um, you can set is mobile as true. You can set the uh, screen size. Uh, let's say in your application, you are using a different test ID attribute instead of data hyphen test hyphen ID. You are using, let's say, mm -hmm. uh, data hyphen test, something like this. So you can you can configure custom test ID attributes. So this will be used when you do await page short, get blade test ID, then it will use, it will look for the attribute data hyphen test in the door. So you can configure all these things. Um, and then there are other bunch of stuff that you can go ahead and, and export. So viewport is something you could do. Um, locale, you can set the locale. Uh, yeah, it depends upon your needs. But then um, this is on the global level. So let's say you have multiple projects. You can have projects for different browsers or you can have projects for different environments. Let's say you want to run your test in multiple environments. It depends upon your needs, right? Like, but by default, uh, Playwright tells you, you have to create uh, projects for different uh, browsers, but that is, that isn't the case. Let's say in your application, you want to test on different geolocations, okay? Or different uh, locale. So you can have different projects based on locale and you can control each of them. For example, when I run my test on Chromium, uh, my tests are a little flaky. So I want to have video on all the times, right? So, so you can set like that. Or you could, let's say you want to run your um, Chrome test with a particular geolocation um, and then you can, you can have something like this, right? You could do that. So whenever, it, you know, um, let's say there is another project, it will use this particular one. When you have a specific geolocation set for a particular project, it will use this. So to understand this, what I'm going to do is I want to set this video as of for now. So we expect, um, so let's keep it as very simple. So we, we keep it as on for now. So the, the global is set as on, but the internal level is set as off. So let's try to run a test and see what's happened. Uh, maybe I'll create a new um, test config.spec.ts and I'm gonna import uh, just the test from Playwright. And then I'll simply have a test, uh, just demo test. And uh, I'll simply launch, go to, um, yeah. So just, just this particular URL. Um, we want to just check whether the video is getting recorded or not. So what I'm going to do is instead of running this particular test, I'm gonna run test hyphen config, yeah. So the test is running, it passed, but then we are interested in checking the report whether the video is captured or not. So if you notice there is no video captured uh, because, because we have set the video as off. But then if you want for a particular test, you want to set a video to be on, you can also set that file level. So you can set uh, test.use, um, the same kind of configurations. And in my case, I want to set the video to be on. Right, so you can override here as well. So now if I run the same test, if I open the report now, it should have the video because we have, um, you know, set the video to be on. So you can see the video here. So this take the uh, highest priority and the next level of priority to your projects and then next level of priority at the global level. So you could, you could play around with this. There are a bunch of uh, options here. You can try out all of them. You want to add extra HTTP headers so that uh, you could, you know, for example, when I do this, and if we go to uh, this particular, run the test, right? It loaded the page, right? And if you open the report, we could see all the API calls in there. Um, so let's open the trace viewer. All that, 
if it you know will have an extra headers uh, with them so what's that? so this is the test test header that we added right so that's here so all these network calls will have that particular header right so this this will be really useful if you want to have data log monitoring whether to understand whether this is created using automation or your manual testing and stuff like that so yeah you could you could this is also this particular thing will also be useful if you are running your api test and you want to pass um authorization token and all that you don't have to set it up for each request instead you can set it directly here um that's all about test configurations there is there is uh, a good documentation here in the playwright you can play around but the only thing that you i want to cover is you can set configuration at different levels global level project level and even at the file levels so so that's the only thing that you want to know uh, which is not that explicitly mentioned in the documentation but there are other stuff like this uh, you can you can basically go ahead and learn here so test use option is this where you could set all these uh, base url uh, and stuff like that but yeah i hope this video is useful i'll find you guys in another great video and then tada bye bye